What's going on traders? Welcome back to another video. There's another short squeeze stock in Short Squeeze City, SPRT. It's speculated this is the next GameStop. This is the next AMC, which is complete nonsense. It cut the BS. No other stock has been able to compete with GameStop and AMC. And number one, attention, the volatility of the price, the peak of the price, none of them. Clover, Wendy's even itself, Rocket Mortgage, RKT, all these stocks had their gamma squeeze, their little spike, and then they went irrelevant. Later on, they had another little spike not quite the peak yet but they were still back in the news and now they're dust they're gone this stock is another pump and dump and what you be careful there's a lot of your favorite youtubers pumping the stock who quite frankly are probably in in the low tens if you're playing poker and you don't know who the sucker is at the table you're the sucker who's the sucker buying up here in the high prices can i go higher absolutely we, this could hit, hit it could hit 100 next week we don't know but it's very very risky in comparison to the stocks that have competed with gamestop and amc which, by the way, are not doing too bad today. As for SPRT, it has a ridiculous SI. Keep in mind, this is T plus 2. This is Wednesday's information. 74%. Not quite the 150 games that one saw. But 74% is quite ridiculous. We'll see what happens next week with the data if this SI does indeed drop. And, and that shows that some of the shorts covered. But it also has a relatively very, very low float. Around 9 million. The stock was already trading five, like six times uh, the amount of shares. Like within one hour of the market open, which is completely ridiculous. It has potential, but it's, it's just too risky in my opinion. And I don't want to be that sucker that gets caught holding a bag at the buys at the peak. That probably struggles to cut losses. AMC, not quite 19%. The SI we saw, but it's still pretty much high up there at 17%. It's not the end of the world. I know it pulled back from 48. Key perspective. This stock struggled to break $40. It struggled. And now we're kind of testing and holding 40 at least here into the market close on a Friday. On Fridays, which we are notoriously known for bloody days. We're nearly flat. We're only down 0.69%. There's nothing crazy. Even if it comes back, like I said in my last videos, to 35, I still think it's very bullish. There's still higher lows here in play. The stock is still alive. There's still attention on this stock as well as GameStop. Be very careful with the Spirit stock. It's it's fun. It's a fun day trade. It's exciting. But it's just, you're going to see a bunch of gains on this on Wall Street Bets. Trust me. Don't fall for the emotions. The stock is actually dumping right now. It's pulling back into close. Dumping when you compare the how much it's up, it sounds ridiculous. It's up 76%. I don't even know how much it was at the high of 59, but we're pulling back here. This stock is still probably going to be in the news in the next couple weeks. Keep this one on watch if you're a day trader, if you like that thrill, if you like that excitement. But if you don't know what you're doing and you're trying to go all in on a stock like this, you're asking to get wrecked. So just be careful. We'll see how the data points, um, where the, where the direction of the data points next week for the SI and the volume. I love how the, the flow, is, the issue shares is actually very low. That, that makes it easier for the stock to go up. So um, hopefully you guys have an amazing rest of your weekend. Straight to the point video. And I'll see you guys Monday.